Actually, it's so painful to know that there are people across the world who have no clue how to make ends meet in the midst of this pandemic. So please, I beg you, make sure to donate some money, no matter how little is it, to those in need, either personally or through a COVID relief fund. So after giving you knowledge of all type of separation methods that has been provided in your chapter is matter around us pure, I think that why not we start solving the questions which are related to the different activities time to time given in the chapter. So we are starting it and I hope that when I was taking up the chapter at that time also I have not left the answer of these questions but still we will again try to do it up because my uh, my aim is to enable your problem solving ability and that's why this this class is only focused on that so what is meant by a substance you know it very well what is substance it is nothing but the pure form of matter and the substance word together covers up um, the elemental state of the matter and the compound as well so compound and element together are called substance every substance has its own melting point and boiling point and they are pure form now the next question is that list the point of differences between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture i don't think that uh, you need more uh, uh, the points to be discussed uh, here in this question because uh, uh, the checkpoints have been already discussed that what uh, how to differentiate homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture you see that what questions are given here there are three questions looking and the first question is that how will you separate a mixture containing kerosene and petrol uh, which are the difference in their boiling point more than 25 degrees celsius and which are miscible with each other so boys uh, it is already have been discussed that the uh, when the difference in the boiling point is more than 25 degrees celsius in the liquid liquid mixture and the liquids are highly miscible in each other then we have to go for the uh, distillation process but here since the boiling point difference is more that's why uh, just by choosing the simple distillation we can separate it successfully now the next question is that name the technique in uh, separation of uh, butter from curd i hope that you all know it very well it is churning then salt from sea water we can do it very easily by the evaporation camphor from salt camphor is a sublimating substance and salt is a non sublimating substance that's why we can go easily um, for the sublimation process what type of mixtures are separated by the technique of crystallization by the technique of crystallization we separate the uh, salt actually the salt and water and that salt which has lots of impurities in it so by the crystallization process actually we puri it is a kind of purification method we separate all the impurities from the salt and we obtain the crystals which are the shiny um, geometrical shaped uh, substances um, by the process of crystallization here you will see that some questions are lined up and the question says that uh, classify the following into chemical and physical changes. Boys, I agree that I have not taken physical and chemical changes in any of my lecture uh, because uh, I have assumed that uh, these are the uh, topics which have been recurrently taken up in your junior classes so you have good idea of them. And that is why um, I have assumed that you know about physical and chemical changes where the substances, uh, new substances are formed after the change that is your chemical change and where there is no new substance formation takes place that is your physical change so try to identify uh, cutting of trees will be a physical or chemical change it is a confusing question because the change in the shape and size actually is considered physical change but here it will be a chemical change because a tree is a lively thing it is a living being and when the cutting of trees takes place uh, the the part of the tree loses life and that is why it is a chemical change so it can't be reversed back we cannot by any process we can't provide the life which is not in our hand melting of, of butter in a pan melting is just a change in the state and change in the state is always considered as the physical property of the matter so it is a physical change rusting of almira rusting is nothing but the chemical combination of the metals with the your um, air and in air oxygen uh, so if the almira is an iron almira it may can get rusted if it is not painted or polished so it is a chemical change because the rust is a new substance 
process the boiling of water to form steam it is a just a physical change because th this is a change in state steam is the vaporized state of the water which is a change of state and no new substance takes place steam is also water only chemically passing of electric current through water and the water breaking down into hydrogen and oxygen gas this is true example of chemical effect of electric current where which is a always chemical chain the water electrolyzed into the its corresponding gases which are responsible to form water a compound that is your hydrogen and oxygen and uh, that is done with the chemical effect and it is a chemical change of course dissolving common salt in water it is dissolution and dissolution is a non reactive uh, uh, activity when the substances dissolve into each other uh, they if they are oppositely nature or they are reactive substances then new substance will be forming but salt and water are non reactive to each other that is why dissolving common salt in water will only make the water saline, sal saline and you can separate it also by the evaporation making a fruit salad with fruit salad with uh, uh, <clears throat> raw fruits it is just a type of physical change because uh, fruit is fruit it is not change like you have cut down the um, mango into smaller shape then it is only mango it is not converting into apple or any other fruit so it is what it is a physical change which is change in shape and size and nothing else burning of paper and wood burning is always a chemical change without any much thought whenever you are seeing that burning has been given to identify as a physical or chemical change just keep your eyes shut and write uh, it is a chemical change try segregating the things around you as pure substances or mixture that's a value based question or application level question is uh, that you will do yourself because the you what things you are seeing in the surrounding uh, what do you find in your day to day life useful to you and then you will try to identify them as a pure substance and mixture for example i am giving you uh, an exposure of it like air we are surrounded with the air it is present in the surrounding it is mixture water you are drinking water it is a pure substance it is a compound soil soil is uh, everywhere the land is formed by the soil it is a mixture uh, <coughs> so that's how you will try to find it out